A lot of people love to make smoothies in the spring and summer, and they can be healthy. But not all smoothies are created equally here. Nutritionist and celebrity health coach Karina Heinrich shares what to put in your blender and also what to leave out. With warmer weather this spring has come smoothie season. Smoothies are an incredible way to get your fix of vitamins, nutrients, your daily requirements of fruits and vegetables, especially greens, and other amazing superfoods I'm gonna to cover today. For most, it would be absolutely impossible to consume the equivalent of veggies that you can stuff into a blender. But not all smoothies are created equal, and some can be calorie sugar bonds disguised as a healthy option. But you have full control over what goes into your blender, so it's really important that you choose the right ingredients to help you sip your way to a healthier you this spring. So let's start with the smoothie yeses. Let's talk about protein powders. The number one question I get hands down when it comes to smoothies. As convenient as protein powders are, they often contain belly bloating ingredients, questionable fillers, and unnecessary artificial sweeteners. So instead of powders, you might want to try hulled sesame seeds, hemp seeds, spinach, greens, chia seeds, kale, spirulina, and I absolutely love bee pollen because it's so rich with protein. Use water and ice cubes as your base instead of fruit juices, dairy, milks for easier digestion. And I also love smoothies over juices because we aren't stripping away the fiber of our fruits and veggies. Always add in around one to two handfuls of your favorite greens, tons of berries, and again, instead of juicing celery and cucumbers, add them in whole into your smoothies for the same health benefits, plus you have the fiber. I also add love adding in things like mint and cinnamon for added digestion and immunity boosters. And of course, I love collagen powder as my favorite for anti-aging benefits. Here are some pro tips to the smoothie skips. Even though I love smoothies, I'd rather you chew your food instead of sip. So you wanna look at these smoothies as a supplement instead of your main meal. So don't go overboard on things like almond milk, avocados, and nut butters, and save those for your main meals. You also wanna skip the dairy in your smoothie because it's really hard to digest and it adds in a lot of those calories. And say no to fruit juices. Only add in fresh fruit. I love all kinds of frozen berries, fruits like pineapple, peaches, mangoes, bananas, and no sweeteners. Only add in fresh fruit. I love all kinds of like things like dates and agave and honey, but just not in your smoothies because it's not needed. And again, remember that you want to be really picky about those added proteins. So if you're following all of these do's and don'ts when it comes to your smoothies, you will be well on your way to sipping your way to health this spring. Love that. A lot of good options there. Yeah, I know, right? It makes me think, ah, time to get healthy here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, summer's coming.